Okay, look, come on in here. We're going to get ready to watch this reaction video. We're going to get ready to watch it, see what's going on. Y'all already know, ain't no alleged because we watching what the people say themselves. Come on in, come on in. The rumor. I ain't got nothing to say. Let me stop. I do got something to say. Let's just go and watch it because the folks got something to say. We're going to be here for it. Let's go. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, 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 uh. Come on and see your neighbors and friends. We're gonna go out with you this. I've been watching the world. I guess I ain't really pushing because y'all telling me I ain't seen them yet. All right, let's go. Let's listen. Listen, I need to go. I need to go. I need, I need to go. I need to go get my coffee ready. I need to go get my coffee. I need to go get my coffee. Hey, hey yeah. Y'all go clap your hands real quick. Oh! Yeah, come on in the road, y'all. Yeah, come on in the road. Come on in the road, son. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on in the room, saints, ace, and friends. Yeah. All right, so first of all, let me just say this. I'm only showing this video for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Um, you know, y'all already know who Vincent Hill is. I ain't got to go through all this. And listen, I'm not doing this to rip Vincent a new one. I'm just, I'm listen here. This ain't nothing I ain't already said. Because, you know, and I'm not jumping in this. I'm just like, listen, I just want to, I want a reaction to the video. Y'all want to see my face? Okay, y'all want to see my face, and I don't want nobody asking me after this. Have you seen the video? Have you seen the video? Yeah, we're gonna watch it together. Okay, we go, we gonna watch it together. Okay, we gonna watch it together. Okay, where Eric? I saw Eric's. Remember to hit that like video. What's up, Shabazz? Shabazz, did you ask him about them draws? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's go and get into it. Y'all make sure y'all hit that donate button. Bet y'all gonna be mindful of who y'all give y'all donations to now. But did I, I did not, did, listen, didn't I not tell y'all? I told y'all. I see y'all. Then y'all talk. Oh, y'all just, you ain't nothing but a hater. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The Saints don't like to listen to folks. The Saints don't like to listen. The Saints. The Saints don't like to miss. listen. Did not not tell them, James. Did not not tell them. They don't like to listen. To oh, you, Mario, you just hating. You just hating. No, baby, I was never hating. Never hating, baby. I was never hating. Baby, this was one big, one big 
Warrior over there, over there getting swallowed up and carrying on and stuff like that. I, 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 I could have told y'all this a long time ago. And see, like I said, long, like I said before, and I said, well, wait a minute. I let him, and, and let me let me say another thing. Let me say another thing. Baby, you can't buy me. Now you can always buy a crown. You can buy some graphics and everything, baby. You, baby, you can't buy no dick and ass. Oh, oh, baby, I'm five minutes in. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. You can't, you can't buy no privacies over here. You can't buy no privacies over here, baby. I am not for sale. Okay. I am not, I have never been a street walker in the night. Okay. But it's all right. I do want to have a conversation with Brother Vincent. I do want to have, because I want to know, I want, oh, I want to know what was said. I want to know what was said. I want to know where my name came up, because I, I knew y'all, I knew y'all thought y'all was going to get me up in the mix. Baby, all this, this cakes and pies and glorious sausages and carrying on, baby, I knew y'all thought, baby, where, 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 um, Where's brother um uh Storm Monroe and where's uh uh what what little boy with, with the with the with the little pretty smile um Armand Wick where y'all at now? Where y'all at now? Y'all y'all just hush mouth and quiet. Maybe y'all thought you was gonna just roll and, and and throw me five grand and I was just gonna <laughs> no nah, but I don't, I don't play them games I don't play them games. Baby, when I saw that stuff, hey, Auntie Pat, lady, baby, when I saw that stuff with George Bloomer, I knew I said, oh, oh, this is what y'all got going on. This is it. Okay, so let's, um, let me go and get my reaction because this is all I'm here for. Eric, let me just go. On. See, this is what I be talking about right here. Here we go. I thought you and Reed was good. I thought you and Reed was good. Baby Reed said he how 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 is how how is it how is it that how is it that y'all gonna sit out here and say some stuff like this, right? And then the nigga will say on his platform, right? Oh, I don't know him. Oh, just, every time somebody got some, oh, I don't know him. Oh, he has mental issues. Oh, I Every time somebody got something to say, this is what the nigga want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is what the nigga want to do. Oh, okay. But then when somebody get ready to tap that ass, it, oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no. Let me tell y'all something. I cannot be bald. I cannot be bald, and I'm not going to play games. This stuff has been going on way too long. Hey, brother. Y'all, we bad. Hey, And every time this stuff has been going on, and I was gonna have my sister Miko to come on here, cause baby, this stuff been going on with Miko, me and Miko since way before then. And y'all want to sit out here, y'all want to sit out here and talk about oh, I jives. I thought you and Larry was good, baby. How how is me and Larry supposed to be good when baby I can't trust Larry as far as I can throw him, baby? He up here trying to pay me money so he can fuck. I don't play them games. What hold on? Matter of fact, this this what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I'm like jazz now. Hold up. Wait, what jazz say? No, I'm like, huh. Now when you say it, I'll say okay. <laughs> okay, let, sure. let me find the video. I got questions. Honey, <laughs> I'm gonna find the video for you right now. This is what the nigga said on live. I can't make this shit up. I was looking crazy because I was like, please don't say that. Don't, 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 don't say that. Don't lie. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. This was during, this was during, I got, I got to play this video with Vincent. Oh. Can't. No, I thank God. Can't nobody All right. do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. 
ain't nobody do me like jesus he's my friend hey pick me up and told me to run on pick me up and told me to run on pick me up and told me to run on is my, my, my friend whoa can't nobody do me oh i feel oh glory to god oh can't nobody you want to feel him this morning oh god is a hey he's let me send this live to mother bishop oh god is a vendor hey he's a vindicator oh he's a great consolator he consolated me He's a great consolator. Uh, yeah, let me send this to Mother Bishop. Hey, he consolated me. Great consolator. He consolated me. Oh, y'all, this is so far back. Jesus. Lord, where is this video at? The devil is alive. We're going to find this video where today. The video? Huh? Where is the video? Listen. <sighs> Y'all make sure y'all like this video too. Get them. Let's get yeah, them. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all y'all make sure y'all share the video. Y'all make sure y'all share the video. Okay, we you know what I'm saying. Let me send this to mother. Shalom, what you sent me? Mother Bishop, here she go. Are these all my little workout videos. Cause we gotta go on here. We gotta watch and listen to Brother Vincent. Okay. Come on. I know we close. I just want. Okay, we can't jump from Holy Ghost music to. Okay. Where's it, y'all? Where's it? Um. That was Seventh and Grove. Jesus, where is it at? That's my spot. I love the Grove. Listen, the Grove has great ministry. Mm -hmm. We thank God for it. Um, so baby, y'all ain't even live. Burrell, you ain't even live, baby. The way Vincent went in. Huh, there, there, there's go on, tell him about Vincent, please. Go on, tell him about Brother Vincent. Look, I, I was so shook. As I was, I was even watching it last night. I was so shook as I watched and listened to this man account. He was very detailed. He was very, he was calm. Um, this man is not lying. I don't believe he's lying. Um, he articulated timelines. Um, he shared a lot of details. I don't, I don't think anybody would go to that kind of trouble just to tell lies and he had receipts whole bunch of them uh, oh god there you go right there oh thank you father thank you father go and send it on over we thank you lord for being a oh, thank you jesus we thank you for all things yes oh yeah, right, 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 James. You can't argue with receipts. You said Larry said it was just business. Oh, please, okay, whatever. I'm I'm just here to review the video. That's all I'm here to do. I ain't I ain't trying to go back and forth about whether I like Larry show or not. I'm just here to review the video, like everybody else. I don't care y'all like say I like them or not. I'm just gonna hear. I'm gonna get a click and a view like everybody else. Okay, I'm gonna clutch my pearls. Because I got to do the rest of the day. All right. Now. Now to help y'all out of what I said earlier. Let me see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Okay, right there. Now, I'm going to play this video for y'all. 
And then we're going to get over there with Bro Vincent. Now, this is going to help y'all understand what I was saying. Jessica said, just admit it, Larry, y'all was what? Selling what? Okay. And then your mom, from what I understand, was a rolling stone. I know you have wounds. I know you were hurting. So you why? ain't gonna read them. And they preach. Hey, grown is that you talking to? <laughs> right. Exactly. Hey, I'm not on Larry's payroll, nor am I one of his staff members. Larry right. don't send me shit to do anything. Larry nope. got his platform, and I got right. my platform. Period. True. Point blank. Daughter guy. We need I'm to address just, this right here. Um, Larry, the problem is the way that you are a member of yours. That's not the case. I, video during that course of time is how he got to know them. Is that right? Let's get you on social media. Take pictures. The pictures. Why they applaud? Round of applause here. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Pitches. Jobs. That's correct. That's it. So Frederick M. Brown. That's it. That's pitches. Her or, or what? But I did not know her prior to this situation that happened on Sunday, or should meet at his church on Sundays anymore, and haven't for a few years. So she's not a member of his church. And, and you thinking about it the way that you are a member of yours, that's not the case. I would have known her or met her then. I did not know her. She was at the party that I was at where I hosted. I don't know if I hugged her or, or what, but I did not know her prior to this situation that happened on Sunday or Shaquilla on Sunday. Jives just explained he didn't know either one of them until the robbing Video during that course of time is how he got to know them. Is that right, Jobs? That's correct. That's it. So Frederick M. Brown. That's it. That's the bitches. Hold on. Video. Labor for their star show. Mm -hmm. But see the way that he. I stole the video. Labor for their season. Where is that part on the video? Okay, he, wait. You try to be professional. To no, I'm just I don't saying. Want to be professional. I don't want to be professional. Your mama was a hoe. <laughs> Your daddy was a seed dropper. That's what he was. Okay, oh, listen. Let me find the part of the video, but let's just go ahead and get clutch with our pearls. Here go Brother Vincent, y'all. In a seven-part series on spiritual abuse, I've gained a wealth of knowledge right and back. a new perspective. But most of all, it's caused me to clearly see how silence is complicity. Thus, my silence, though serving me, has not served the masses. So as the universe wills, I am presented an opportunity to come clean. Let me start by apologizing to all that have been affected by what I'm about to address, but suffered long because of my silence. I must also seize the moment to offer my apologies to one person in particular, Elisa Dunn. I know what it is to play a part in a network where victims were created. And to be honest with you, I didn't say anything at all. And it's one of my biggest regrets. It's the reason why I'm really doing this video. Specifically, there are two people that I carry in my heart because I should have spoke up and I didn't. And though I think it's too late to stir the waters now, I want to say to you two specifically, I am so sorry. It will be self-explanatory by the end of this episode why I needed to apologize to Lisa. And by the way, hi, my name is Vincent Terrell Hill. Some call me Buddha. Some call me V Terrell Hill. And for some of you, you call me Elder Vincent Terrell Hill. I worked with Larry Reed from Larry Reed Live from 2003 to 2018. In that time, I was everything from a personal assistant, executive assistant. I traveled statewide and internationally. But most importantly, I am the creator and originator of the Larry Live Show. Throughout those 15 years, 13 years were spent in a sexual relationship with Larry Reed. Oh, wait For a while, I believed oh, I was oh, the only oh. one. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Hold up, wait a minute. Ooh, that'll do it. Hold up. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's. Really, nigga? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. He just came out the gate. <laughs> Did they play the part about the um ejaculation? No, he just said he just said he did, they was in the 15 year relations. Yes. It was 13 oh. years, that's all right. Oh. I was everything from a personal assistant, executive assistant. I traveled statewide and internationally. But most importantly, I am the creator and originator of the Larry Reed Live Show. Throughout those 15 years, 13 years were spent in a sexual relationship with Larry Reed. Oh, I know that. Wait a minute. Okay. This play. For a while, I believed I was the only one, or rather, the only man. However, Larry made me aware after our sexual relationship oh, was that. over, I wasn't. Come here, Cole. I will disclose the other men in the church he's had some sort of sexual relationship with outside of me as we move forward. Most of what I say in this video is provable. Everything else I saw with my own eyes are those directly connected to it told me. None of this is secondhand information. You did take my comment from having it is in your ass. Whoa, 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 bitch. Hold on. Wait, bitch, hold on. I got to read this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Back up. Hold on. It told me. None of this is secondhand information. You did take my cum. You did take my cum. You did take my calm for I don't know how many years in your ass. My God, today. <laughs> you can't even make this up. Swallow that. Okay. Don't have any ears in your ass. So it's my students in you. Bitch, my speech. Yes. While he was married, pastoring, traveling the road, working with me on Larry Reed Live, we maintained an ongoing sexual relationship. That, to my knowledge, only he, Shamako Bryant, and myself was aware of from 2005 to approximately 2017 when I cut off the sexual relationship. Shamako didn't like our relationship. I don't know about you, love, of course, but what you decided him to didn't like our relationship. More on Shamako later. Now, you may ask, where did I get these audio clips from? Late night on January the 15th, 2023, Larry drove to my house to have a conversation with me months after him and I stopped communicating because he halted payment on an arrangement agreed upon for years of work I did during my 13 years of service with Larry, the Breakthrough Church, Breakthrough Temple, and all of the iterations thereof, including Larry Live. If you remember January the 15th, 2023, you may also remember Levantre Andrews. He was being interviewed by Tasha Kay, premiering in parts on YouTube, but in full on her website that same night. That night, he texted me out of nowhere wanting to talk and saying he will pay me my money that he owes me. 
Mm, look at the look at the messages. Look at the messages right now. <laughs> I had a dream about you. Okay. Now, one might feel it was hush money. However, he attributed his desire to talk to a dream he had, and he felt led to text me and to meet with me. Now, speaking of LaVondre Andrews, let's go ahead and air this out real quick. If honest, LaVondre and Larry would corroborate this one thing. I had no idea LaVondre had accused Larry of molesting him two years later. To this day, I haven't received a clear answer from Larry or anyone in Larry's camp why no one told me when I was literally the guy that handled all of the, or most of the fires, rather, in the church. When Larry finally told me what happened around 2017 or something like that, 16 or 17, approximately 16 or 17, it was a very super generic story that I believed Levantre was lying because I remember Levantre being a lying teenager in the church. So I just chucked it off and went on about my business. After leaving the Larry Live community in 2018, someone prompted me, you need to go speak to Levantre. He feels like you helped Larry cover up his story. And I said, huh? So I reached out to Levantre just simply to let him know I didn't find out to many years later, only to realize that phone call brought me more than what I bargained for. Once Levantre gave me his side of the story, significant parts of it startled me because it mirrored the same sexual experiences I had with Larry Reed. See, Larry is a voyeur. He loves mm. to see people naked. Mm. Delquan mm. recounts a time that Larry uh, purchased him new underwear and wanted to see him in the underwear. Levantre recounted a time where Larry asked him to clean up his room in his underwear. What Levantre didn't know up until now, and he still doesn't know he's hearing this while you're hearing this, I knew he was telling the truth the whole time. Because I too was requested by Larry to do the exact same thing many a times. Although I wasn't there, I said to Larry, as it relates to Levantre, here's what I said to Larry, either you did something to Levantre or you provided the inappropriate details of your bedroom fetishes to a young member in the church. Either way, you are dirty dog wrong. One of the things that always bothers me about this Levantre is one thing and one thing only. When I talked to him back in 17, 18, he said something um, that was eerily similar to our experience. And I asked you about it and you said that you told him some stuff and yada yada yada. So in my mind, uh, even if that was just that, there was already a line crossed. Do you think maybe you can just let, let him have this and just let him filter out, fill it out? It's so interesting to see. Then what was happening in the car? And, and Marco said, he said, I, he said, I know you, y'all are going to be talking about other stuff. He said, but you need to ask me some of his things. He said, and stuff like this makes him good at what, what to do. But I don't think that would bode well in court because that admission could be seen as, well, if he was having an improper relationship with the assistant, why, why couldn't he have an improper relationship with the young, with the drunk? So it's, that's, that's a lot. It shouldn't have happened. And I told Larry explicitly, leave that boy alone. Now let me go deeper. No abuser operates alone, right? 
He or she always has a network of people to help them be who and how they are, which is a monster. No abuser mm -hmm. operates alone. There is always a network of people aiding and hiding their secrets and abetting in their schemes and dirty work. If you know you are or were a part of such a network, get out while you can. Shamako Bryant, though he appears nice, is not innocent. In my opinion, you know what's worse than someone who stabs you in the back? That same person who hides the knife and helps you clean the wound. Shamako and Larry were boyfriends before I even got in the picture in 2003. And in my opinion, still maintain some sort of romantic understanding or committed relationship. Told you. For those who were around in the church days, Mako moved out and right after he moved out to his own apartment, I moved in Woo! to Larry's house. Knew it. Mako did not like the fact that I was there because he knew Larry would eventually not keep his hands to himself. And Woo! he couldn't do anything about it. So guess who had to pay for it because he could not control Larry? I did. Mm. Shamako found out about Larry and I when I told him in 2005 during a ride back from Raleigh to Fedville. And here is how it happened. Prior to that, Mako and I, wanting to see each other naked, met at the then church musician's house, Antoine Shepard, while he was out of town. Mako, for whatever reason, had a key to Antoine's house, so we went there, stripped naked. We were young and dumb, giddy and childish, but hey, we did it. I thought it was a good time. We didn't touch each other at the time. We just saw each other naked. However, what I thought was Mako being fun and my friend in reality was him fishing for information on whether or not Larry and I oh, was yeah, having I sex. Hmm. He was willing to do anything to find out. And of course, I told it because at the time I didn't know any better. Mako, as late as 2021, is still the same way, sneaky and sexually deviant. Yes, we flirted. We, I'm not, I'm not a superstar in this. He fondled me all the time, playing around, touching me in areas he shouldn't touch me. We've exchanged nudes. The Thursday before the Reformation experience in 2021, Mako masturbated in front of me on FaceTime while I watched. Okay, pause, pause, oh. <laughs> pause. You don't have to wait. Before the Reformation experience. Honey, I heard the same. Honey, listen. <laughs> Baby, that was an experience. <laughs> so y'all beating off before church. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all having a beat off session before the church service. Oh, okay. That's that's, that's what it's giving. Y'all have a beat session. Beat before the Lord. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit. So y'all so ain't got laid hands on. Y'all ain't got laid hands on. And now y'all finna go beat off. They don't have praise mm. and worship before church even started. Hmm. And then your mom. You just can't make this up. Asked me of my thoughts of a foursome between Larry, Kendall, Locklear, and myself. He said it was a fantasy of his. Well, I guess that's a five some or quadruplet or whatever. It's five. He even admitted by being caught by Nathan Locklear's now incarcerated son, Day Day, at a meetup, a gay meetup spot off of Cheshire Bridge Road. Is Mako sweeter acting, portraying way more innocent in comparison to Larry Reed? Yes. But is he worse than Larry Reed, if you ask me? Absolutely. Now, I need to stop to say sorry to Latrice and Lisa. While at this time, you both were being dogged by your ex-husbands for what y'all did or were doing. They did it first and literally continued to do it right up under your noses. And he was going in like 
only thing we got in common is X, Y, and Z and this, right, this. And I'm like, what is you talking about? Mm -hmm. That's not a good look. And yeah, the way you was, try to say, I'm the queen of the family, that, that was degrading. It was disrespectful. The reality is that I don't, their timeline makes no sense to me. Um, when they say the relationship started and issues with Marco and Latrice's relationship, it's very strange. Um, because in my opinion, before we moved from North Carolina, this may not be true. But in my mind, they were already in a relationship under Michael's notes. So in my mind, I feel like they're not truthful. But they could be telling their truth. But from the outside looking in, it looks like you're grown enough to look back and see when this relationship started. Now, what you're telling us sounds good. But the reality is there was a connection, something drawn between y'all before then because she was spending a lot of time over there. And even from a professional standpoint, Felicia brought a broken relationship with her daughters to our church to be fixed. And Latrice was supposedly one of the keys. That's why her and Felicia was connected. But when I began to notice something else going on, I told Latrice and Shamako in North Carolina a long time ago, I said, keep them at your house. I said, because there's something with lesbian doesn't connect to them. And I even put Felicia under that same for lack of a better word, spirit, you know, because that's how I was communicating then. It was, all, it was you and another woman while you married. That should have never been. But it was, and that's okay. So when they tell this story like it's squeaky clean, I don't know who y'all want to believe that. I don't believe it. Let's talk about Kendall. Kendall is the same. Complicit and just a sexual promiscuous, allegedly. I've seen, uh, Kendall, I've seen you with my own eyes nude. You sent a nude to Marco. Marco showed it to me. It was a side profile of you with your back arched and you're on all Ooh. fours on your bed looking at the camera. Oh, yeah. Where? Oh, I saw oh, it. Swallow <laughs> there. What? Not, not Kendall on the arch. Also, Kendall a little oh, bar. Swallow there. Look at your neighbor say he's a meat stretcher. stretcher. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> he's a meat stretcher. Get a meat scratcher. He'll stretch your bread basket. Listen. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say he's a meat stretcher. Stretch your meat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, you know you took it. You didn't send it to me. How did Mako get it? Right. According to Mako, Kendall was caught sending his nudes all over Miami. When caught, Larry wouldn't fire him, according to what Michael told me, because Kendall knew too much. It was a liability to keep him and a liability to fire him. I told you this network is dirty, dark, and deviant. Nathan Locklear, I want to apologize for what I'm going to say next, but your business has been broadcasted to Michael, Kendall, and myself by... I guess at the time it was Apostle Reed, maybe it was Larry. He shared how you were the best dick sucker he's ever had. Bitch. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say he's a meat stretcher. Baby. Put your meat. Oh. Hallelujah. Honey. Ah. Meaning, 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 the best means there had to be more than one. Hardy, listen here. <laughs> listen, now I know how I listen. I know what I give now, but baby, he said he is the best. The best. Super head. Huh? Oh. Are experienced. He also went as far as to share your. Uh, nudes with us. They were still shots of a video. I guess you were in front of Larry naked on FaceTime where, well, Larry was recording and sent us the still shots. 
Now, those of you that are viewers, you may not recognize this, what I'm going to show you, but Nathan knows his body and I'm sure Crystal does too. Oh, oh, he ain't got no ass though. Prophet Philip McFeeders, pastor. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. Oh, not Philip. Oh, I see, but you know what? I should have known this nigga was involved when I saw him on some pictures in Dubatas. I should have known. Oh, no, fear not you over there in the, in the soirees. Philip, you was over there getting swallowed up. Lord, I, I, I think Bishop Jenks got to be over there just like. Honey, I know Bishop Jenks is sitting back with his coffee like. Yes. Mighty God from Zion, not Phil. Life Changes World Worship Center located in Louisville, Kentucky. According to Larry, Philip and him are also sexually active and emotionally entangled. Are you seeing this pattern? Why do I have a video of Prophet McFeeders drunk, stripping naked while entering a hotel room in Miami? Take a wild guess how I would get that video. Here. <laughs> Go ahead, how many do you get in the bed? <laughs> go get in the bed. I'm getting in the bed. Okay. I'm about to go get in the bed. I text me in the morning. You wake up. All right, love me too. <laughs> I thought you had to pee. I'm going to pee when I get home. Okay. okay. <laughs> Now, honestly and sincerely, I would like to apologize. Swallow that. Look at your neighbor and say he's a meat stretcher. He'll stretch your meat. Hallelujah. Talk about that. Oh, so so you doing the bending? Is that what it is? I'm not stunned, but baby, this you know I like receipts. I like receipts. to Philip and Nathan for them falling casualties in this messy web. But if I left them out of the extremes, the point of this video would be for not. I could go on and on. Junior, the bodybuilder, the, I guess, security, the masseuse, another sexual partner of Larry, according to what Larry told me this past April. April 2023, everyone in this picture are the ones I've just named. So if you want to know who is Larry having sex with or some kind of sexual immorality. First of all, you want to know how this trip was funded? Honey, you want to know how this trip was funded? Do you want to know how this trip was funded? All y'all group motherfuckers was out here sending money towards this damn, and I didn't even listen to the video. Y'all was sending money towards this damn Carlton Pearson experience, which was some bullshit. And I ain't even watched the damn. Okay, let me just play the video, child. Let me just. Well, immoral relationship with. Look at those in his inner circle. Mm. You, have, you ever wondered why Josh Merrill's or Cameron Phillips are never invited on these trips? And if they're invited, they never seem to go.
Uh. Tell us why. Same for back in the church days. It was men. It was the men right up under him. Not every man, but those who was close to him. Larry had inappropriate dealings with. I will name the full list later in the video. But Lisa, you remember when you stole the phone? You were texting the wrong men. Lisa, if you would have texted me what you now, text Lisa, those other one? men, I would have responded. Was Lisa the ex-wife? Lisa, you were right the whole time. Every time you were being gaslit for trying to break into his computer because you knew he was doing something wrong. It was Mako. It was Kendall. I was there. I saw it. He was doing it with me. So basically, he was crunching all his friends. Baby, Barbara, this is Shirley. Barbara, this Barbara, woman to woman. Have you ever been in love? Woman to woman. Have you ever? That's ba baby. Baby, he was playing all in Lisa face. <laughs> all when I say you, when I say all in it, woo, baby. Called you crazy. He talked about you. To this day, I've heard you make demeaning jokes about the time you lost your mind because you just knew he was cheating and you were never wrong. And I watched complicit as he made you look like a fool. And again, I say to you, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. All right, let's keep going. It hurts my heart to know so many people so into the NBN Network Weekly only for the leaders of this organization are the head leader to splurge, wasting money, and from what I have heard, promise much to the members or the patrons, yet drop the ball, underperform, or never fulfill the said projects or promises. One example of wasted funds, you might have heard of a recent story of this guy, this former staff member called Lester Peltier. Mm. And as it relates to all the rumors that be going on in folk minds, just be made up in their mind. I am single and I can do what the hell I want to do. But that ain't happening. Larry Darnell Reed. Mm -mm. No, that's no, 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 no. I wish I would. Be fooling up with a mentally ill, I'm talking about a lover of somebody that's mentally ill, poor, not American citizen. I just can't say what y'all think. Who y'all think I am? I, I don't understand that. Do you see my ex-wife? Do you see the, the, I know there are beautiful women around me and beautiful men around me. Y'all see that? So then why am I going to go out and do that? Y'all just need to think just a little bit. I'm not having no, no lover that you had a fine in every way, shape, come on now. And I'm not taking care of you. That's not happening. Let me explain. Whoever I'm going to be with, I'm going to take care of them. But you need to be able to take care of your darn self if I was not in the picture what I'm saying. No, it's crazy. There's so much I want to that say right now. the dumbest thing in the world. He was put on... What? Because first of all, the visual is bothering me. You see the weight loss? The visual is bothering me. And there's a certain arrogance that comes out of what he just said. Mm -mm. It's getting heavy here. Whew. Now, I don't believe that because here's my thing about people that have money and power and influence. There are people that have money, power, influence that will use it to control other people, to get what they want from them. 
So I, I don't think that mattered as to this gentleman's um, socioeconomic status or his citizenship because th th uh, that's not what he wanted from him. Continue, brother. This is, ooh, is this Just have to be a Is this shelf for the NBN network? Wallace, there was already a chef on staff, Latrice. Lester is now alleging that outside of the contract, which included housing, transportation, and a regular payroll, he was getting way more from Larry. This Lester story is not adding up, even when you hear it from Larry's mouth. Now, I saw and then should we end up, I saw this in campus team staying places, but like, look, money was tight. So I'm saying, I could kill for that. You had to come to Atlanta. Right. So he came to Atlanta just to push a deal because they got the contract for marriage. And it was always empty. I got a question. So it was time for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And Marco didn't want him gone while I'm here. I was having all old people there. Mm -hmm. And he left. He went to his aunt's house and took his stuff. But while he was there, just considering all the different stuff that was going on, Marco said, let's send the rest of his stuff there. You know, like, let's see if we can stay a little bit while longer so we can just clear our mind and find out what we're going to do. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he. Wait a minute. Now, now, Darius, you listen to all this, right? Mm hmm. Okay, because this is feeling kind of staged to me. Because I'm, I'm just like, how was you able to get these whole conversations? Yeah. Hey, I, I'm, I'm really, I was wondering that too. Because I'm, I'm just like, how did, is this another ploy to get Larry out here in the forefront again? Like, I mean, because I, I, at this point, like, I'm trying to understand. Or, or, I mean, or, or is he just, was Larry just being, you know, Stupid. Was, was he getting all these recordings in there, you know, knowing that at some point he was going to have to use them? Well, you know, but I got a question too about why, why he need a chef? And why did he bring Lester on as a chef when he already had a chef? Because what Lester like an international soccer player? Yeah. So, so he's an international soccer player slash chef. That's an interesting combination. You said he want to be like Bernard. But wasn't there some tea out there that he was um that. Lester was allegedly sent by um 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 what's uh look look crooked up there in New York. Oh uh, um uh what's that man name? Uh Lamar D head. When when that when there's some somebody that he was allegedly a plant. Honey, I don't even know. Ah, that right there, I don't even know. Ooh, this is getting deep. Don't start thinking. These people are trying to get rid of me. Mm -hmm. So he's in New York. I feel like we're trying to get rid of him. He flew back to Miami, but he ended up homeless because he had no money. Mm -hmm. And he got frostbitten bit and had to go to the hospital, so he gets mad. I guess we call hmm. this shit. Oh, Jesus. Huh? I'm going to check this out. Wait, how so, not here. I'm sending some phone. I'm like, I mean, let's see what happened. Oh, let me get to the phone. So, he calls Mr. Whitehead. Now, we don't know any stuff that's going on. Come find out Mr. Whitehead was going to pay him $20,000 up for him, $20,000 in. Flew him back to New York, put him in a hotel room for three days. He's going to meet him at eight o'clock. He called us at six. All of us had blocked him. By the time we were going to make a crazy. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, Marco didn't block him. Mm -hmm. So he called Marco. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm about to, um, I got in contact with Bishop Blackhead. We're going to do a story on Reed. And 
Mm-hmm. Y'all push me to Marin Latrice. He's saying all the stuff he need to say to set up. Uh, like, 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 we're trying to get, we're trying to make it a federal thing. Uh, okay. And when Michael says, well, why are you calling and telling me this? Uh-huh. After he's on his custom bus. Uh-huh. How does one read the call me? You know, I can't believe he did it. I know this is not how he is. What's going on? But see, he, I, was t- I was trying to tell him in November. So I'm like, I said, I'm doing it a whole lot. I can't right. do I can't, right. I can't care of you and do what I can care. I got to do Right. And so, you know me. Michael called me and tell me what's going on. I said, okay, well, let me do that. Michael said, really? He just wanted to talk to me. I feel like you talked to him. This is the other kid around I said, I don't give a fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sit in front of me. I said, don't nobody make, try to make me do something. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm wrong. And I'm about to get off and he said, no, 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 I still can. He called my whole name. And it's like something just clicked. Mm-hmm. He said, listen to me, Larry, you know what I mean? Call me. So I grabbed the phone and I called him. And as soon as I put it the phone, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I got something to tell you. I said, well, Lamar, which is his first name, both my head. Right. I've been knowing him since 2019. He paid me to get close to you and get inside your business to find out who you are. So this had to let that whole thing go because he didn't go through it. You know, so. He apologized. I miss you here. So we're staying close back. My five Orlando. So I had um, Larry Lapin has a Mercedes in the apartment in, in the book here. Now, why would you take care of someone whom you thought was betraying you? Up until April 2023, Larry and Lester were cool because I have the text messages where he was trying to recommend masseuses and Lester was one of the ones he was recommending. Masseuses, huh? Masseuses, brother. Brother. Masseuses. He was staying in the apartment financed by your seed sowing. Those of you that are part of Reformation Church. Hmm. Doing what up until June before he was attempted to be kicked out? If you listen to Lester's story, there was no bad blood up until June of last year. The recording is in January of last year. So for six months, he was receiving money something if anything lodging on you all's dime and if patterns don't lie larry your sexual involvement makes sense why you would have your cousin latrice marry him because according to mako he never wanted to marry latrice but guess who Pushed it and Darren near made him do it. You did. You've used Latrice twice to lock your boyfriends in. And that's not nice. I asked Latrice, will she be interested in a contract to marry? Yeah. She was like, okay, she made him, she liked him anyway. She said, okay, fine. You no, know, of course, she was never trying to have sex and nothing, right? But it was just to have a friendship. Mm-hmm. Him and Josh didn't want to live. So- Allegedly, the NBA Network accountant or ex accountant was stealing money, hard earned prophetic seeds. Patrons sold at the word of their prophet, Larry Reed. The accountant's name, the the ex or former accountant's name is Eddie Banks. He was able to steal, according to what Larry told me, uh, $6,000 at a time. Mm -hmm. Now, Eddie, I'm not accusing you of doing it. You got to go ask Larry why he would call and tell me that. All the trips that you've seen me on, I never paid a dime. 
Not a hotel room, not a meal, not a plane ticket. Thank you, sowers of the NBN network. Every car they drive, the jewelry, clothes, and the houses of not just Larry, but partially the entire leadership is off of the back of the NBN church members, the patrons, the LRL platform supporters. And let me tell you, there's not one house owned. No one's paying mortgage. Your seeds are being poured into rent. Wait, hold. Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> wait, wait. I said all of this now. You did. The Saints, the Saints don't want to believe. Dude, I, this ain't about me. Vincent, go ahead. Uh, two houses in Atlanta, one house in Charlotte, one house in, at one time, two houses in Miami, one house in LA. Over, it was, it was around about. I don't know the exact number, but I guarantee you it was near $60,000 a month at one time that your seed sowing was paying into rent for one man and his team. Maybe he had a team. Mm -hmm. No one generates a real penny. No one is a true entrepreneur. No one is making a significant amount of money are living outside of the NBN network. It is all off of you. It's not even the YouTube views. They're not that high for him to be around so long. It's all off of you in the Reformation Church and in Patreon. We were watching a video, uh, the producer and I was watching a video yesterday and one woman sold into Larry and she said, Larry, I sent you all I got and my heart almost broke. Because these people believe in you and you are literally raising dark, deviant hell behind the scenes. And I know there are some that's going to keep on supporting you, but I'm just trying to just trying to help somebody not make a mockery or fool out of themselves any longer. Now, this doesn't include Cameron and Erica Phillips or Josh Merrills or Felicia and mostly Nathan Locklear. OK, these people are fairly smart and could leave the NBN network right now and live a healthy, profitable lifestyle. Everyone else needs your tithe in your offering or they wouldn't be able to sustain the life you're trying to sow to get. I have heard more than enough stories of people going broke being unhoused and utterly depressed because Larry teaches a type of gospel that subtly demands you give or so at the powerless word of the prophet Demario, with no significant manifestation. You see Kevin come in. Kevin talk about TDJ say, come here, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I can't even say listen. Lord, Lord Jesus. But, I got a question. Why do you think he made this video? I told you anytime something like this happened is because anytime a person like this does something like this, it's because something has gone on for so long and they have been pissed off. And they have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And they're like, okay, you're going to make this right. You're going to make this right. Do you think, he's make the, this do you think he's the, is he the, is he feeling, do you think he's the jilted lover or is he truly um, repentant about how all this happened and his, his, his role in it? Um, I think at some point, I think at some point with him, I think at some point with him, it's like, because Vincent's been there all this time. So it's like, I, I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't know what his money looks like. Now, Nakaira, I can't, see, I need y'all to stop, stop throwing people in there. Nakaira, 
We're not going to throw nobody in there. But I feel like this. I feel like whatever it is, maybe he's a pissed off person. I think that he is a person that is irritated because so much stuff is going on. I think, yeah, Mama Killer, I think he's convicted by so many things that have transpired. It's okay, Nakaira. I think it's so much stuff that is going on. And the fact that y'all, and I've been saying, y'all living off of this stuff and y'all making a fool out of people and like y'all flaunting it in people's faces. A good point that somebody just made in the comments about the contract that um, Larry allegedly did not pay him for, stopped paying him. And then all of a sudden, when he around the time he had the dream or whatever he called, I'm gonna pay you your money, all this, you know. Mm -hmm. so was there some fear that he was gonna do exactly what he did now? Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like at the end of the day, I feel like Vincent is Vincent is a pissed off person, but Vincent is a calculated person too. Yes. Because first of all, Vincent ain't gonna sit around. You said it does you said it doesn't matter if he's a jilted lover. Larry is evil. And okay, well, I mean, again, it's like this. I feel like okay, hold on. Call you back later, baby. I feel like at the end, people do things for a reason. I think Vincent decided to expose Larry for everything that he's been doing because he knew it was just a matter of time. I think at some point, I think at some point, Vincent knew all of this stuff was wrong. And he probably just stacked his coins up and was just like, I'm out. Because it's like, I think I think maybe after the Carlton Pearson thing, it just mm -hmm. got to be too much because y'all making money off a of dead man. Why? Now that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. You said Vince an old messy queen. First of all, y'all talk. Y'all want to try to call the man a messy queen. First of all, let's call Larry and the rest of these girls an old messy queen. Because first of all, all of them. All of them screwing off with each other. Let's just make that make sense. So and I don't if Vincent if Vincent if Vincent is I don't consider Vincent messy. It ain't messy if it's the truth. Right. That's why I'm just like, mm, okay. Okay. Y'all gonna y'all gonna sit out here. Y'all like y'all love to call people messy queens. Y'all love to call people messy queens, but the fact of the matter is, y'all been out here following people, right? Y'all been following people and giving these folks y'all money, right? I don't care whether y'all what y'all do for anybody else, but then when these folks when all the truth and the tea come out, now y'all sitting up there and you're looking like y'all got egg on y'all face. Now that's just the truth. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, but if he messy, why he come with receipts? Hello. Hello. Because he knew y'all was going to call him messy, so he had to come really? with receipts. Baby, Vincent came with receipts because it's like, listen, let me back. Since y'all don't call me messy, let me back up what I'm saying. Maybe he came with audio. He came with pictures. He came with re receipts. He came with everything. Y'all need to know. Videos, everything. Tabitha said messy. Whatever. Station, which is then attributed to the era of the sower. And, and for what I understand, the response is, if you're not receiving blessings from your seed, there must be financial sin in your life. Well, can you guess what the solution is to the financial seed sin? So again, so you see the cycle? I sow, nothing happens, I feel like I'm sinning. So I sow, nothing happens, I feel like I'm sinning. So I sow, nothing happens. In the meantime, while you're going in that loop, they're in Aruba, in Miami, and here, excuse me, we were in LA. We were eating the best steaks off of that loop. I stayed in five-star hotels off of that loop. Some of this camera equipment I purchased off of that loop. 
Mm. I'm, I'm not a hero here. I'm a whistleblower. Mm. Mm. And that can't recruitment ain't In cheap. My conclusion. I am a gay man. I've had my share of gay sexual experiences more than I would have liked to have. Wow. I've done everything that come to my mind outside of hard drugs. My nose, my allergies and sinuses will not allow me to do that. That being said, these men I named participating in gay sex, gay sex is not the issue. Outside of Levantre, these are grown men. The issue is the lies, deceit and hypocrisy as they talk about others while doing the same thing themselves. It's Larry dragging Lisa all these years on her mothering and leaving him for a woman when he never even fathered his kids. Kendall, Larry, Latrice, and Mako, and myself did. Now, bitch. Now, that's a whole read right there. That's a whole read. Bitch, you ain't father none of your kids. And you got all these punks out here taking care. Oh. Oh, bitch. Oh. And you didn't have to leave her for a man. You kept the men in your house the whole time. It was Larry treating Latrice like she was a dirty dog and dragging Deja McBride's name in the mud. For, uh, because Latrice was dating Deja, a younger member in the church, while having imp at least, the very least, an improper communication with Levantre Andrews. Also, at the same time, having sexual dealings with Shamako Bryant, Kendall Peacock, oh. Nathan Locklear, oh. the Amario Hines, oh. and myself, Vincent Terrell Hill. Now, I want to say sorry, the Amario Hines, Wait a minute, hold on, Pimp. Listen, bitch. That name sounds too close to mine, bitch. Hold on. That is how close to yours. It do real oh, thing. That name sounds too close to mine, bitch. You gotta give him a nickname. Honey, listen, that, that name sounds oh Jesus. Oh girl, I could not be plowing no Larry fucking Reed. No ma'am. No ma'am. No, 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 no. Honey, listen, it just sounds oh. Well, my heart dropped. I thought he called my name. <laughs> Marcel said my eyes got big. <laughs> Bitch, no, I thought it next. I thought he called my name. I'm like, oh. I wasn't going to put your name in this because as far as I know, you don't deal with Larry anymore or that crew. However, your name was publicly put out by Del Quan, and I happened to hear the interview this morning. So I might as well confirm what Del Quan was saying. Larry told me himself. That one day you came over the house, you laid on the floor, poked your booty out, and Larry dry humped you. And y'all did some other things, maybe some petting or something like that. That's what Larry told me. If it's a lie, go to Larry. If it's the truth, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the point is, this man is a dark, deviant, evil narcissist. In all of these cases, you all's names are dragged in it because he never cared about any of us in the first place. He is sick. These people that have accused him might be liars. They might not pay their bills. They might have issues. They might not be of character. But for the interviews that I saw or heard, none of those people have characterized Larry Reed wrongly. Just because, Larry, you can assassinate characters don't mean that your character is clean. Boom. Mm. Just because somebody don't pay their bills or they owe somebody money don't mean they're lying on you. Everybody is not lying on you. It's the fact that you act as if you've only tried being you would, you would do it if you wanted to do it. These kind of soft launches. So you can come back to your audience and say, oh, well, I told y'all, no, 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 no. Tell the truth. You kept a 13 year sexual relationship with me. You enjoyed it. You wanted it. And when I didn't want to give it to you, you demanded it. 
If anybody asks you, I'm a top. All right? All right. There will be no mounting up my back, but I will mount yours in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Men more than you like women. Stop playing with these people. Larry, it's the fact before. that you have done stories on Brian Corn, E. Dewey Smith, Matthew Stevenson, Jamal Bryan, James Hall. I got to eat that one, too. Some of these people we did stories together on. Yes, she did. Daryl yeah. Walls and countless others while you are way more sinister and dark and deviant and ugly on the inside than they will ever be. This whole idea of the platform being about women and kids. How is that when the woman in your life you've mistreated ever since I've known you in her? And those kids you deal with when you want to deal with them. You all have been lied to. Mm. Oh, how can I forget T.D. Jakes? For peace sakes. Manasseh Jordan. If you are truly, truly trying to wave a banner of integrity or truth, discard your partnership with Larry Reed immediately or everyone that watches this, mark him as a false prophet shearing the sheep for gain. If T.D. Jakes is truly guilty, he won't be brought down by the hands of thieves. And darkness cosplaying as truth and light is not how that works. Bishop Bernard Jordan, if you are as integral and truly a prophet as you say you are, you know I'm telling the truth. You know it. We're Gemini's. You know we don't. You know how we roll. Talk some sense into Larry, sir. If you don't, everyone watching this deem him a false prophet that would rather conveniently receive the seeds off of the back of the poor than to stand up. For innocent people who's been trampled over by a dark, deviant psychopath. Do what's right, Bernard Jordan. You know, I know you know it. I know you see it. I see that you see it. Do what's right. Now, let me speak to content creators because everybody getting this. I don't have no friends. Well, I got friends. But in context of this, I'm equal opportunist. I sat back and watched you all cover Larry's stories and make mockery of it. You sensationalized the abuse of others for clicks and views. Mm. You interviewed people who were not credible. Mm. You were so excited to tell the story. The real truth was lost amongst hours and hours of pointless banter. Lots of shade and other nonsense in your YouTube and Facebook lives. You're wasting time. Stop manipulating the stories of manipulators to grow your channel. Mm -hmm. If you all would have simply done what I did today, just plainly just tell the story, it would not have been necessary for me to come out of retirement and do what I'm doing right now. Mm. To those who are watching, I got something to say to you too. God is tired of the lies. He's sick of the nonsense. Exposure is here. Leave other people's houses alone and get your house in order. Now, I know the majority of you came over here to be nosy. Hi, my name is Vitor Hill, a soul healer. Welcome to Safe Space. But now that you're here, you are now accountable and responsible for your part in this. Every time you see a video, you like a video, you share a video, you comment 
on a psychopath's channel, you are complicit to the blood that's on his hands. If I'm telling the truth, if Levantre is telling the truth, poor you, you're paying for it. You're going to pay for it. All right, here's what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm going to do one question and answer live when I feel like it. Then I'm going to choose one integral, one integral, integral platform and one interview only. And after that, I'm going back to soul healing and helping people that want to be helped. God bless. Peace. Bye. Mm. Oh, Lord. If anybody asks you, I'm a top. All right? All right. Ooh. There will be no mounting up my back, but I will mount yours in the name of the Ooh. Lord. That was an admission. <laughs> um, oh, Jesus. What, what you feel, Darius? What you feel? So this is a this is this is a lot of exposure. This man is not lying. He has at this point, he has put his he has also thrown himself under the bus with the details of their involvement. He's not lying. I don't believe he's lying. I think there's there's some motivation to um uh maybe get Larry back. There's some motivation to to maybe get Larry to cease his behavior. Um, but I, I think he's credible. And you can't keep going live. What, you, Larry, what Larry can't keep doing is keep going live and keep saying people lying on me. People lying. Everybody is not lying. He got audio recordings of conversations. He's got text messages. He's got pictures. And he's got more than what he said. He alluded to such. This man is not lying, and he didn't. And he didn't come on and say, "I'm a hero." He, I think, he took some accountability in there at different points, but he's not lying. I feel like this is mean. I feel like, you know, with all of this. You know, let the people feel how they want to feel. Cause I'm I'm not even gonna say y'all need to unsubscribe. Oh, I'm not even gonna say that. Y'all do whatever y'all want to do. Cause me personally, everything that Vincent said, some of this stuff I've been saying. And I'm just like, it don't even matter no more. A lot of this stuff that's been going on, I've been saying it. Because this man has been the thing, the thing for me, so I, I want I want y'all to understand, so like, y'all want to buy a thing, I'm playing tip for tat back and forward, back and forward, is that people try to buy you to try to pay for your silence or pay for you to come on their side and everything like that. I can't play them games. And see, I can't never trust a person all the way, especially when I know how you play. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, when I know that you have been doing dirty stuff behind the scene and I'm like, my spirit can't, can't bear witness with your spirit and everything. I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. And I know how the rest of your people feel. I know how Shamako them feel about me. Baby, you, first of all, I, let me tell you something. I can see your folks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, y'all act like I didn't did something. I'm like, first of all, y'all act like I didn't did something to Larry. And I'm like, I don't even... I've never even been around y'all and y'all act like I'm trying to take y'all man or something like what the hell is going I'll on? Take your man. Why? <laughs> let, let, let's say because I got it like that. <laughs> and now, honey, listen here. If I was like y'all, I could take them if I want to. But baby, I don't. Okay. Just, just jazz. Hush. <laughs> Cause I was about to just, baby, I was gonna let it rip. Let me tell you something. You, I don't man. play them games like that. <laughs> y'all go right here. Y'all, y'all listen here. I like to. I, I like being on this side of the earth. I don't like mumps and bumps. 
and humps. I want to live long time. So God can use you. So God can, hey, so God can <laughs> use me. I want to live so God can use me. Any right. well, Lord, anytime. Praise God. Amen. Anytime, any well. Any well, Lord. Any well, Lord. But I mean, that's my thing. And I feel like all this time, it's like you, you know, you you sit around and you watch people play in your face. And so last year, when all that stuff went on and I got that George Bloomer case, that's when I went the hell off because I said, y'all been playing in my face this entire time. Y'all have lied this entire time talking about I'm a liar. I'm a liar. And I'm like, but here's the court papers right here. When I showed the court papers online and I'm like, so I really wasn't lying. Because these people have brought all of this stuff up in court. So make it make sense. Baby, the Lord know how to bring things back in full circle. I just think God, I think, I think the Lord know how to bring things back around again, just so he can show you that you wasn't crazy and you wasn't lying. And I'm so happy that. Thank you, Lord. I'm so happy that he did. So anybody who feels some type of way, y'all can go somewhere and kick rocks. So I, what do you think should happen from this point? Um, one, I, I think this campaign, this is me speaking, I think this campaign against Bishop Jakes that's being waged, it needs to, st it needs to stop. I 100% agree with you because I feel like it's like the more they, they're going at Bishop Jakes, it's I, crazily, it's like the more things are coming out. And I'm like, okay, all right, y'all keep doing stuff. It's just like stuff just keep popping out, popping out, popping out. And it's just, it's like, it's just ironic that Vincent would just out of nowhere make a video. Out of nowhere, make a video. Baby, Vincent so, showed up like Fanny did in court yesterday. I I got all the smoke. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you, Fanny came in and, uh, you know, and what's so crazy about yesterday, what's so crazy about yesterday was, um, I think it was the day before yesterday, or maybe it was yesterday, Benson's video came out. I got the court documents on Wayne Felton's son. And I'm like, I said, well, look at God. I said, all this stuff coming all out at one time. I said, mighty God, ain't this something? Mm. But, you know, hey, you know, y'all y'all got it. Y'all do whatever y'all need to do. There's more audio Vincent got that he's constantly producing. And it is what it is, y'all. I'm like, listen, I can never tell y'all, and I won't ever tell y'all to stop supporting anybody. I'll never tell y'all and won't tell y'all to stop following anybody, whatever the case may be. And anybody that ever tells y'all that they a lie because I ain't said it. But at the end of the day, it's like this right here, because I'm going to tell you right now, I've heard, I've heard that nigga tell people to not support me. I've heard that nigga sit out here in your windows and, and some other fools sit out here calling me crazy and all kinds of stuff. Like, Baby, let me tell you something. Honey, I don't have to use no hoogie woogie prayers. I ain't got to use no sit up here. I ain't got to do none of that. Y'all sit out here and y'all you y'all send people into my camp on my platform to sit out here and try to get to know me to call themselves getting to know dirt on me to do fuck shit against me. Now that is the shit that pissed me the fuck off. And that is what pissed me all the way off. And bitch, you can't come back from that. You can't come back from that. When that shit, when I, when I, when I, when I gathered all that, that's when I finally went the fuck off on, on he who shall na will be renamed, no named and no neck. And no, <laughs> just head. <laughs> and no arms. <laughs> And as far as as far as the rest of them go, because 
we're doing a show tonight. And so I think it's going to be a whole lot of people on there. And, you know, you know, it, it's like this. Like I even told Daryl um, in the email earlier um, the other day. And that is you're mad. You are you're mad at at me and Miko, but. We just don't want to be a part. We just don't want to be a part of this stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like we sat back and saw how this stuff was going to play out and we didn't want to be a part of it. This nigga wanted to sue me. Larry wanted to sue me for that whole uh, Del Quan situation. I didn't even say that. Del Quan was the one who said that. Del Quan went on my, he didn't set up, he talked to me. He went over there with Daryl. He went over there with uh, Tasha K. So, so, so why ain't you suing Del Quan? You got all these people out here trying to, trying to discredit these people, but this is, this is, these are the folks you was fucking. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like these were the people, even Vincent said this himself. These were the niggas that you was fucking. So tell me who is really out here lying. Now, my God, brother. Morales. Who lived and went to his church, said his church wasn't that big, said he was trying said Larry was trying to fuck his boyfriend would always see Morales at his church and be like, oh yeah, where's your little friend at? Where's your friend at? I'm telling, listen, I, listen, I can call this nigga up right now. So again, like I said, you know, I, again, I'm not no, I'm not the person who out here doing all this. And again, for me to even see Phil McPherson up in there, I'm totally fucking shocked. Because I, I would have never thought to see Phil up in no foolishness like that. But see, the girls, the girls love a little money. They love to run behind somebody who got a little money. And see, that's just like uh, uh, Keith McQueen running behind uh, um, uh, old boy. Going to tell me. No, I'm not shocked, Sean. Keith McQueen running behind. Uh, don't don't leave, Darius. I, I'm, I'm, I gotta put on my shoes, brother. That's all. Keith McQueen running behind. Uh, uh, uh Larry. So oh, we have a beautiful relationship. I bet the fuck you do. You got big baby Genesis. Got her fat ass running behind Larry, like motherfucking Larry gonna do something for you. Bitch, he don't like coochie. He like dick and ass. Baby, we're going to be on Tasha K Live. That's what we're going to be. He said, and, and, and the nigga even said he want to try to get a hold to the gay community because he know that's where the money is. Now you already see what the fuck he going to do. He ain't going to do shit for y'all, but get your money and just constantly flaunt in your fucking face. And anybody else who called themselves trying to get some money and, and, and progress and move forward. I don't give a fuck if he is your guy. I'm so sick of these niggas trying to sit up out here every time they see a doc child. And, and Sean, you know I love you, baby. I ain't got no problem with you. I'm just saying, you know, I, I just, it just pisses me off. And then they want y'all to throw up in my face. Larry, we just have a beautiful, when that nigga said that bullshit to me, I was like, okay, so what you telling me that shit for? Yeah. Bitch, you was trying to, you was, you was, you was trying to hop on my dick and fuck when I was in Indianapolis. That's why I wasn't shocked that him and his and his husband splitting. Let's just keep it one hundred. Mm. Brother, I got a, I got another thing I got to go to. Okay. okay. All right, y'all. Okay. Go ahead, dear. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. So y'all, listen. I was trying to get the video because there was a certain part in here where this nigga said. I should come to Atlanta. Try to nigga said that push. I just looked at him like, I know I got it in my phone. Oh, baby, I got, I got it. I got all the, I got all the, the clips with Andre and him. And all, what, what, matter of fact, let me ask a question. 
Where, where, where are all these motherfuckers at now? Where Andrea Garrison, where all these niggas at who was out here talking shit? Where are all these folks at now? Uh, listen, I, baby, listen, it is what it is. I, I just. Miss Yvonne, thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Thank you, baby. So we're going to go. Period. I just, I, I just, I just want to hear somebody's uh, rebuttal against all this now. I just want to hear somebody. I just want to. Well, actually, I don't. All these niggas rebut rebuttals. What y'all gonna say now? All this stuff being exposed. It does. And you know, honestly, you know what, Crystal, Yvonne, Nike, you know, and Miss Cynthia. You know, the funny part about all of this is that. is that these folks can sit out here and do the absolute nastiest of shit. And these folks will defend these people tooth and nail, right? They'll defend them tooth and nail. They'll defend them tooth and nail. That's because they, you know, like, I'm, like I was supposed to defend somebody because, you, because I made two crowns for you, bitch. I made, key word, I made two goddamn crowns. I made two goddamn crowns. Marcel, I made two motherfucking crowns. Bitch, y'all didn't just hand me five grand. I made, I worked. Bitch, can't now nobody say you sucked my dick. Bitch, you ain't gonna never be able to say that you swallowed me up, bitch. I don't give a damn. I was just coming on here just to give a review, okay? That was that I was just coming on here. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I ain't even trying to get in all my feelings and shit. I'm sorry about that. I was just coming on here, uh, Elizabeth, just to come on here to do my review. That's all I was coming to do. Uh, Cynthia, no, we're going to be on uh, Tasha K live. There's a whole soiree that's going on over, over there on Tasha K. Now we gonna we gonna be over there on 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 on, on, on Latasha K. Okay, period. So y'all was waiting on me to say my little piece. I'm done. Hey Jennifer and girl, I don't know why why that nigga called William. I don't know why that nigga called William. Why 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 Larry called William? I want to know. Why, why Larry call William? I want to know. Because it was him and Buddha that did the fuck shit to, to William. I, uh, Tasha said it's going to be like nine some tonight. Okay, it's going to be like nine some tonight. Period. Let me tell you something, Jordan. Y'all been talking about be careful with Tasha, be careful with Tasha. Let, w scary McCray. That, that's what I'm talking about. Let me tell y'all something. At the end of the day, let me let me just, let me explain something. Let me explain something. I got to go. Let me explain something. Condolences, uh, Nike baby. Let me explain something. And that's this. Did y'all send y'all offerings? Did y'all send y'all offering, baby? Make sure y'all send your offerings today, okay? <laughs> Praise God, babies. Praise God. Send your offerings. I'm gonna tell you where you, where, where y'all cash apps gonna go a bill. Shit, I ain't got time to be but I hate trying to buy no motherfucking car. The hell wrong with y'all, bitch. Let me tell y'all what I do when I make crowns and all this other stuff, bitch. I pay bills. When the Lord bless me real good, bitch, I'm gonna go buy me a house. I ain't renting shit. Okay, old motherfucking K. And bitch, let me tell you something, hey baby. I ain't jealous of nobody. When you go get you a house, a car. Or whatever the hell y'all get. Ain't nobody jealous over here. I'm happy for any nigga that get whatever the hell y'all get. Let me just let me just make that plain. Cause at the end of the day, baby, that's a bill. What's up, Jay? Jay what's, I mean, I was in my it was my intention to call you back. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. 
it is, and it's really crazy about this whole YouTube streets and stuff. You know, all all the niggas, you know, they want to they want to feel somebody. You know, they want to feel bad. They want to feel some way about somebody because so, that's why I'm like, I it, 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 y'all don't need to be showing your, your 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 properties. You don't need to be showing your houses and your cars and stuff because that ain't it. I mean, now that's that's what your channel gonna be about. Don't don't do all that. Don't do all that because because you're gonna cause problems that you don't want. Niggas, I and then you got folks that want to adopt you. Okay, praise God, amen, amen, praise God, amen. It's offering time, praise God, it's offering time, praise God, give, give, give in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Did y'all, did y'all give your offerings and things? Give your offerings, we praise God for everybody. Uh, we do, we praise God for everybody. We do, we do. We do. everybody, yeah, uh, we good. I love y'all, I love y'all with the love of the Lord, amen, praise God. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love y'all. Y'all, y'all enjoy the show. Y'all enjoy the show. I, Marcel, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Calling niggas broke when you fleecing off the people. Really? You calling niggas broke? But how did you make your money? How did Manasseh make his money? How did Bishop Jordan make his money? How did I how did how did Bishop Ike make his money? Y'all, we gotta go. We gotta go, y'all. Jay Wilson, yes, baby. Yes, yes. Y'all enjoy the show. Make sure y'all hit that cash app. Support the show. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. This has just been my review of Vincent Buddha Hill. Vincent Buddha Terrell Hill. I love y'all. This has been a great show. I appreciate you all. Um, so later on, I am your host. It's your boy, King Jai. Me and my Afro wig. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.